Number 8. Honey Badger While they might have a face only a mother could love, the honey badger with its unmistakable coloring isn't an animal you would want to mess with. They have super powerful jaws and extremely sharp teeth that can crush a tortoise's shell. This member of the weasel family is known to hunt at any time of day, but they tend to stick to nighttime feeding in places where there are a lot of people. If you happen to run into a honey badger, don't think you'll be able to fight off these animals easily. Their thick rubbery skin protects them from bites and not even an arrow or spear will penetrate their skin. But they aren't all about their ferocity. They are known to be an intelligent animal and have been known to use tools to get at food. Even though they seem to be a crafty creature, they have a little help when it comes to mealtime. They work together with a bird known as a greater honey guide who leads the honey badger to a beehive, waiting for the animal to open up the hive to feed, after which the bird eats the remaining beeswax. But don't think the honey badger only has a sweet tooth. They are also known to eat a variety of other animals like snakes, insects, frogs, and even porcupines and small crocodiles. They aren't afraid to pick fights. Honey badgers are considered one of the most fearless animals in the world. This little weasel found in Africa and the Middle East is a deadly carnivore that you don't want to mess with. Number 7. Dolphins The next time you're on vacation and the resort offers you the chance to swim with dolphins, you might want to think twice. Even though dolphins are considered both lovable and helpful, they do have a darker side. They're usually known for their playful nature, but dolphins are getting a bit of a bad reputation as scientists follow a trail of bloody clues that point to the porpoises having a sinister streak. Dolphins use their beaks as clubs, and their rows of sharp teeth to slash at fellow mammals. They have been found to bludgeon other porpoises by the hundreds. And they just don't do this to feed or because they're protecting themselves, they do it just because. And they have been even spotted harming their own young. A Scottish scientist spotted an adult dolphin repeatedly picking up its baby and smacking it against the water until the young dolphin slipped away from view under the waves. Off the coast of Virginia, researchers found the bodies of nine baby dolphins with broken ribs, smashed skulls, and the telltale pattern of puncture marks on their bodies from adult dolphins. Even though it's relatively safe to swim with dolphins, they're still wild animals, and the possibility of one harming or killing a human isn't that far-fetched. Reports of swimmers being bitten or pulled underwater during what they believed was a safe encounter might make you think twice about getting into the water with one the next time you go for a dive. At one point, we thought killer whales were innocent too, but even they have killed people and taken on great white sharks. Have you ever swam with dolphins? Was it fun or scary? Number 6. Kangaroo There's something to be said for keeping wild animals wild. Even though it might seem like a cool encounter to feed an animal you aren't used to seeing up close, those encounters can get a little too personal. In Australia, kangaroos are a common sight, but that doesn't mean you should try to touch them. In fact, kangaroos can feel threatened when approached by humans, and those who have gotten used to being fed by curious onlookers can become particularly aggressive when they approach humans looking for food, only to get none. Kangaroos are large animals, the largest marsupial on Earth, actually, and they stand more than 5 feet tall and weigh almost 200 pounds. Kangaroos are able to hop at 35 miles an hour, and they can leap 6 feet off the ground and cover 25 feet in a single bound. That's quite the hop. Their legs are extremely powerful, just a kick from their hind feet can do serious damage. If you happen to come across one or a mob of kangaroos, which is a large group, you should try to steer clear and keep an eye on their movements. Not only can they use their tail as a fifth leg to balance themselves for an attack, they often show signs of aggression before attacking by standing on their toes, scratching their stomach, or growling. Did you know kangaroos growl? They've also been known to drown their enemies. They'll hop toward water when being chased, and then grab whatever is chasing them with their forelimbs and straight up drown them. You should also never stand up to kangaroos to fight back. Instead, researchers say you should crouch down low and back away from the animal to avoid an attack. Number 5. Slow Loris Don't let those doe eyes fool you. The Slow Loris is a nocturnal primate with an extremely deadly attribute. They're the only venomous primate in the world and can only be found in Indonesia. The slow loris is highly prized for their venom. They store their venom in an elbow patch. The loris will suck in the venom from the patch, then mix it around in its mouth before delivering a toxic and deadly bite. 
This has made them highly sought after creatures, with locals roasting them over wood fires to get the toxin for use in medicine. Strangely, villagers also hold the slow loris in high regard with spiritual benefits, going so far as burying a loris beneath new roads to keep it free from accidents. Sadly, poachers will capture the animals and remove their teeth to get at any venom that may be left in their mouths. As a result, a local animal rescue group has had to set up a sanctuary on the island of Java to tend to the injured animals. In 2012, a wildlife biologist was on a surveying trip in Malaysian Borneo when he encountered a loris in a mango tree. After being bitten on the finger, the biologist wasn't only injured, he went into anaphylactic shock. His mouth swelled up, his chest and abdomen hurt, and he had trouble breathing and became agitated. Luckily, a nearby clinic was able to administer an adrenaline shot, but it is obvious that the painful, sometimes fatal bite of the slow loris is reason enough to avoid this venomous primate. Number 4. Leopard Seal The next time you're on a polar expedition and spot one of Antarctica's infamous leopard seals, you might want to observe it from afar. They are the third largest seal in the world, they can weigh up to 1,300 pounds and grow 10 feet long. Even though their large heads and gentle appearance may tempt you into getting a closer look, the look of these giants of the sea are deceiving. Even though they may look like they are permanently smiling because their mouths curl upward at the edges, they're actually quite aggressive and are always looking for their next meal. If you do happen to get close to one and hear them issue a warning growl, be aware that this is their signal that they are about to defend their space more aggressively. With few natural predators, they can live up to 26 years in the wild, impressive given the dangerous and demanding environment in which they live. In 2006, a National Geographic photographer did get up close and personal with a leopard seal, with one sympathetic female of the species bringing him multiple penguins, both dead and alive, seemingly trying to teach the man how to feed himself. But that doesn't mean one shouldn't be on guard when encountering leopard seals. In 2003, a marine biologist working on the British Antarctic Survey was dragged 200 feet underwater and almost drowned after a leopard seal took interest in him. For the penguins they feed on, it isn't always a quick death either. Some seals have been spotted tailing young penguins as they are about to go to shore, chasing them back into the frigid waters over and over again to tire them out before attacking. Showing they are both resourceful and cunning, the leopard seal, although one of nature's most celebrated creatures, is one that is best left to itself. Number 3. Blue Ringed Octopus Dangerous animals can sometimes come in small packages. When it comes to the Blue Ringed Octopus, this psychedelic creature is small but deadly. They can be found in the Pacific Ocean and are usually located in the soft, sandy bottoms of shallow tide pools and coral reefs. But be warned, if you happen to spot one and see its dazzling bright blue rings, that means the octopus is not only spooked, but is sending out a warning signal to potential predators. All octopuses are venomous, but the blue ringed species has venom that is 1,000 times more powerful than cyanide. Even though the octopus isn't bigger than a golf ball, they have enough venom to kill 26 humans within minutes. Just recently, in March 2021, a woman was on vacation in Bali when she encountered one of these cute little guys. Without knowing it was one of the most dangerous and venomous creatures in the world, she picked it up and even took a video for her TikTok. The video went viral. The woman is incredibly lucky to be alive. The toxins in their venom is the same type found in pufferfish. When hunting, they use their beak to puncture the exoskeleton of their prey and then insert the venom to paralyze them. That's when things get really gruesome with the octopus picking the meat from their prey as they remain helpless. In humans, their venom blocks nerve signals in the body. It can cause vision loss and blindness and muscle paralysis, including the muscles needed to breathe. Even scarier is the fact that there is no known antidote. Scarier still, their bite is often painless, so you won't even know you've been bitten until it's too late. So if you want to avoid injury or even death, you might want to stay away from this tiny octopus as they only bite humans when they're startled by them. Number 2. Flower Urchin Don't let the beauty of the flower urchin fool you because its petal-like features have quite the bite. They can be found from East Africa to Southern Japan. These urchins have small, triple-jawed grabbing organs that should be avoided at all costs. The fang-like appendages have venom glands at the tip that can penetrate the skin, and just handling them can put you at risk for a nasty sting. Flower urchins are also known to hide out in coral reefs, sand and seagrass beds, and their petals are usually rounded cup-like shapes. Until they're threatened, that is. 
They have tiny sensors on the inside surfaces which can detect threats by both touch and chemical stimuli. And when they do, their petals snap closed and they inject their venom. Their tiny claws have also been known to break off during these attacks, allowing them to continually inject more venom for several hours. The bigger the petal, the more potent the sting, so if you're diving and are drawn to the tantalizing red and gray zigzag pattern of the flower urchin, you might want to snap a photo and swim in the other direction. Number 1. Wolverine Not to be confused with Hugh Jackman, the Wolverine is a member of the weasel family. These short, thick animals have glossy dark brown fur and curved claws that can be partly drawn back in, perfect for digging and climbing. Sure, it might look like it might make a cool pet, but the Wolverine didn't get the Hollywood treatment for its cute and cuddly nature. They're similar in size to a medium-sized dog, and the adults can weigh from 17 to 40 pounds. They like to dine on frozen flesh and bone, which they hunt for in the harsh remote environments in which they live. They're also known as the skunk bear because they mark their food and habitat with urine and musk, and are known as the fiercest creature on Earth. They have a fearless attitude, and they don't shy away from fights, especially when it comes to finding food. They've even been known to scare away large bears from fresh kills. They're also an important figure in North American folklore, the First Nations people telling stories casting them as tricksters or bullies. In Alaska, though, they are celebrated for their strength and tenacity, with some tribes using wolverine teeth in their handicrafts. Other tribes in Northern California consider the wolverine to be good luck and fortune. They can be found throughout the Northern Hemisphere, but their numbers are slowly dwindling. Wildlife organizations in Canada put them on a list of animals of special concern, and Eastern Canada considers them endangered. The wolverine is a carnivore and flesh eater, and they've been known to kill young moose or caribou. Even though old stories from northern trappers and hunters still remain, and there have been no documented attacks of a wolverine on a human, this doesn't make them any less a threat when it comes to finding food in the wild. Thanks for watching. What do you think of these cute but deadly animals? Have you ever seen one? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like these. I'll see you next time on the Board Badger.